Crystal Carrington for Hip Hop Media TV. I'm here at Rumors Nightclub on Long Island, New York, and I'm here with a legend right now. It's Big Daddy Kane. Hi, Kane. How are you? I'm great. I'm great. I'm great. That's what's up. We're excited to hear you. The crowd was live. You did a great performance tonight. We want to talk to you about what's going on in the hip hop and, and, you know, just you resurfacing and coming back into the game. What kind of motivated you to get back in this, in this, into this thing right now? I mean, to be honest with you, I didn't know I left. I mean, for the past, I don't know, like, I don't know, 20 years, I've still been doing shows all over the world. Um, when I say over the world, I mean not just America, Europe, and everywhere. So I never knew, I, honestly, I never knew I left. Well, we know you've done a lot of stuff. You've won Grammys, and, you know, you've done, you know, movies and all this other stuff. And, of course, the Playgirl in 1991, right? I'll bring that out. Of course, we love that, right? Tell us what it's, um, you know, since you've been doing tours and stuff like that, just how have the fans been receiving you? I mean, obviously, they did a great job tonight, and they loved you. Just how have you been seeing the fans um, feeling you, like, throughout the world? Um, I mean, it's been a lot of love. I've been enjoying it. Um, it's always great to share the stage, you know, with a lot of my peers, you know, like Dougie Fresh and MC Light and all those cats. And, um, you know, we just wrapped up a European tour last month, and I'm looking forward to this Masters of Ceremony tour that starts next month um, with DMX and Rock Kim and EPMD and Slick Rick and everyone else, and it's been cool, you know. Absolutely. I saw you at Hippopolis when you came down to D.C. You rocked it. Hip-hopolis, this was, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But you rocked that, though. By yeah, yeah, yeah. But you rocked that, definitely. Um, so, you know, like, we, we know about the album that just came out with your band that you doing, that you just did in 2013. And just tell us a little bit about Back to the Future. Tell us a little bit about the band and just kind of like what you're doing. Um, well, basically what it was was um, a fusion of um, uh, vintage 60s and 70s soul mixed with 80s hip-hop. And I thought it was something interesting and very innovative that no one has done yet. And I had a lot of fun working them. They're, they're a bunch of talented musicians that I think have a great future. And I would, you know, do anything I possibly can to help those young cats out at any point in time. Speaking of young cats, you were pivotal in, uh, you know, giving people like Jay-Z a platform when he was a young kid. What, you know, who are some of the, like, the young artists that you're watching right now? Um, I watch a lot of the, um, you know, the, the battle cats and stuff that's on YouTube, like Goods, the Animal, A-Verb, and I was like, this those type of cats I listen to, really. You think you could take them on? <laughs> I mean, I'm me. I mean, I'm, I'm me. I think I can take on anybody. I love that. But I, I love to see a younger generation trying to take it to the next generation. I have nothing but the most respect for them dudes, and I love listening and watching them. Well, we love you. You know what I'm saying? It's Big Daddy Kane right here. We're inside of Rumors Nightclub. I'm Crystal Carrington for Hip Hop Media TV. Let us know where we can find you online. Um, well, on, on Twitter, it's um, at Big Daddy Kane. On Facebook and Instagram, it's official Big Daddy Kane. We love it, and you are official, honey. This is a legend right here. Notice, respect this right here. Big Daddy Kane, Hip Hop Media TV. It's Crystal Carrington. Peace, baby.